Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today I will be reacting to One Piece episodes 108 and 109. I really can't wait to see what's going to happen next. It's a bummer but Zoro, Luffy, Nami, Usopp and Smoker are trapped there in Rain Base. Uh, they are in Crocodile's main building. Uh, he is there like chit chatting <laughs> with Vivi. I mean, he is constantly bashing on her and disrespecting her and Alabasta, uh, threatening that he will wipe Alabasta from the face of Earth. And that's exactly what is happening right now. He sent his agents uh, all on separate missions, but the most fucked up thing was Mr. Two using his devil fruit power to transform into the king of Alabasta. And Koza is the one who approached him, bro. That's so unfortunate and he got shot. He was thinking about going against King anyway, but that scene right there cemented his opinion about the King and they are preparing to head for Alubarna to attack at the capital while King should send his army to rain base, but I think that didn't happen because he got uh, kidnapped and the rest of the soldiers will protect Alubarna, so we will have conflict between people of Alabasta, which really sucks and Vivi is trying to prevent that. Uh, as I said, our, hopes, uh, our hope is Sanji and Chopper, because we know that they are free. I hope that they can somehow get us out of that prison and we actually got to learn about that sea prison stone, which can basically nullify devil fruit power if i understood correctly so it's basically like you are in sea and we know that devil fruit users can't swim so it's draining all the energy out of them i'm very excited guys so let's jump straight into episode number 108 all right guys that was my reaction to episodes 108 and 109 I had a blast with these episodes, especially this one, 109. So it was the part, it was part of the plan that uh, Chopper disguises himself as Mr. Prince and to bait Crocodile to run away from him while Crocodile is thinking that he's chasing Mr. Prince, aka Sanji, who is in Casino. He was right there. He kicked the shit out of that alligator. Mr. Tree was alive. I was like, fuck this shit. Why is he still alive? Who needs him? And then when I saw that it's a fake key that Crocodile left us, we made use of Mr. Tree's ability, Wax Wax Devil Fruit, to make a key and to free our group. Amazing, amazing use of Mr. Tree. So now uh, I am glad that he's not dead. But he might be actually dead right now, for real. <laughs> because he was laying down when Crocodile entered the room and he was pissed. I was so glad that we got to transition from Crocodile doing such cruel things to Vivi and to others uh, to him being so damn mad. That was very satisfying. Now we are free, we are making our way to Alubarna, we are going to prevent that shitty war from happening. We are going to tell people the truth and we are going to save this country. Those banana gators are hilarious, man. They have banana on top of their heads, so that's why they are called like that. I didn't notice that at first. So Luffy ordered Zoro to save Smoker, man. And I really like that, that really fits nicely with Luffy's character and Zoro respects his wish. I mean, Smoker is our enemy, but he's not necessarily evil and bad guy. He has a heart. I remember when we got introduced to him, when that girl uh, fucked up his pants with her ice cream and he, uh, instead of being bitch about it, he... Uh, if I remember correctly, said that he spends ate her ice cream or something and to get a new one. That's telling us that Smoker is actually a good guy, but it's in his job description to get rid of the pirates and to chase them down. But I think that he 
realizes as well that Luffy and the others are not ordinary pirates and that's why he let them go. I mean, they saved his life, of course, he will want to repay them somehow, but they are big bad pirates, so it's not easy for someone uh, in his position to do such thing. And the fact that he did it really made me think that Smoker is really cool character as well. And he is strong as fuck, man. He definitely seems unbeatable until we saw him uh, <laughs> go and get it with Ace. So... It seems like he can do shit to Ace as well, so I guess that's his level. He's pretty, pretty strong. And the way Luffy said, you're not unlikable, that was so sweet. <laughs> Even Smokey started blushing, he was like, what the fuck, just get going. Really, really phenomenal episode. But where the fuck is Chopper? <laughs> I hope that he will reunite with the squad very soon. He also played his part, we saw him blasting those... Uh, millions or billions or whatever they are called. We know that our boy Chopper can fight as well and that he is very strong. So yeah guys, next time I guess we are heading to Alubarna where a real shit is about to happen and I cannot wait to get to the fight with Crocodile Man. I'm looking forward to that moment so freaking much. So I guess that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching as always. If you like my reactions, consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. I have a Patreon page where I post early One Piece reactions. If you are interested, check out the link in the description. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya guys.